my first question for you. So Perfect Addiction is the first to be, um, sorry, the latest Wattpad fan fiction to be adapted into a movie. And um, as someone who also appeared in the after films, I wanted to ask um, if you kind of were aware of the Perfect series um, before stepping into the role. No, I wasn't aware of the Perfect series before stepping into the role, but um, I'm very well aware now, and I read Perfect Addiction. I'm about to read Perfect Ruin, so I'm a huge fan now, but um, no, I wasn't aware of it before stepping into it. Okay, um, well, knowing that there's such a huge fan base for the series, um, did that come with its own set of nerves when you were stepping into the role of Sienna? Yeah, I think... Um, nerves but more excitement um knowing that um there's there was a lot of people out there that were, would be excited to see my portrayal of sienna um of course there's like a, a little bit of nerves for sure because i just wanted everyone to feel like i was doing her justice and um you know being as truthful as possible and portraying her and bringing her to life but knowing that that support was already behind the film really allowed us to step into it with a lot of confidence. Definitely. And um, since you did take on the role of like an MMA fighter slash trainer, um, I wanted to ask you what it was like preparing for it, if you had to undergo any uh, special training or um, take on a special diet. Mm. The training, yes, for sure. I was training um, in Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu five days a week um, at the Anderson Academy here in New York City. And then right after training with them every day, I would go train with my trainer and his name's Jerry Joseph. And we would do like the physical as the fitness aspect, like uh, weightlifting and cardio and like high in intense interval training. Um, so it was a lot of physical training for sure. Uh, the special diet, Honestly, no one, no one put me on a special diet or anything, which was actually really refreshing. I was just eating very intuitively, um, making sure that I had the energy to be training the way that I was. Um, but there wasn't any pressure from producers or anything to be eating a specific way, which was really, really nice. Yeah, definitely. That's a yeah. way to do it. And so when it came time to film your, film your fight scenes, how tricky was that for you? Um, did you have fun? And, um, you know, obviously with any fight choreography, there's bound to be some mishaps along the way. Um, were the, did you have any onset accidents or any memories on set while coordinating your fight scenes? Um, yes. We, I, we did. It was, um, <laughs> there was a scene uh, between Ross and I, and it's the scene in the film where Sienna's like saying like, hit me. And he's like, I don't want it. It's not personal, whatever. And she's like, hit me, hit me. He throws like a right hook. And it was, it was choreographed for sure. But my, I didn't duck enough. And I got hit with his right hook, like in the side of my head. And the <laughs> acoustics, in the gym that we were filming in were so dramatic. Like it, he hit me and it literally echoed in the entire space. So it was, at least someone got it on camera too. So I have a video of it, but I was fine, thank God. Um, it actually made me a, a better fighter because I learned the importance of, of being very present. Like you can't be distracted mentally, even for a second. You have to be very um, present and duck. <laughs> I learned, I'm like, our stunt coordinator would ask me, okay, what did you learn? I'm like, duck. <laughs> so that was like the one accident that happened, but thank God it wasn't very bad at all. Yeah, definitely. Like, thankfully no one got hurt in that process. Yeah. So in addition to your fight scene, Perfect Addiction has a lot of intimate scenes as well. Um, was it easier or harder filming the intimate scenes versus the fight scenes? And had you worked with an intimacy coordinator before this project? It's hmm. a good question. I think it was more challenging to film the fight scenes um, just because there's a there was a lot more um, there's a, a lot more technical aspects that went into it. Um, and the choreography for the intimate scenes wasn't as complex. I, I think we had so many fight scenes and so many training scenes that um, I was more stressed, I would say, about those. 
And then when we got to the intimate scenes, I was like, oh, this is like a walk in the park. <laughs> um, but I, I did work, I had worked with an intimacy coordinator before, but I, that was my first time having an intimate scene, like specifically the one with Caden and Sienna, um, the longer one. That was my first time having an intimate scene that was um, that long and that intense and that much choreography. Um, and our intimacy coordinator was so great. Uh, Ross and I choreographed that weeks before we even started filming. And we shot that scene two months into filming. So we had a lot of time to feel really comfortable with one another. Um, and it, it was a really good experience. It, it felt very seamless. And our director, Castile Landon, really is so professional and knows exactly the shots that she wants. So we shot that scene very quickly. It didn't feel like it was something that was being like drawn on and we didn't feel awkward or anything. It was just very efficient very professional and very comfortable. Another series that has a huge fan base that you were a part of was uh, Fear Street. And um, it's been a little bit, it came out in like June, 2021. Um, but looking back, were you surprised at all how well it was received? And have you heard anything since about maybe a follow-up movie or anything like that? I, I would say I wasn't surprised with how well it was received um, because we worked so hard on them. And I knew like the, just having the team behind those films, I had a feeling, um, sorry, horns, New York City, New York City life. Um, but the team that was behind those films, I feel like we were, we had a lot of support behind us. So I knew that they would be done very well. So I'm like, okay, as long as people see them, I think they'll be well, well received. What I was really grateful about was how many people actually got to see them. Um, I think that was like the most shocking to me. I knew that people would, would see them, but the numbers that reflected like on our social media and the response that we were actually getting was like really overwhelming in the most beautiful way. And still to this day, I'm like, I see that I, I get tagged in like edits and people are asking all the time if there's gonna be a fourth movie. Um, I, I can't speak too much on that. I I hope that there are plans for a fourth, but nothing is concrete that I can speak about at this point. Okay, all right. Yeah. And um, my last question for you, um, I wanted to congratulate you on your recent engagement. Thank um, you. Very happy for you. Um, I was wondering if um, you had any like how wedding planning was going and kind of what you're looking forward to most on your big day. Oh, thank you. That's a great question. Um, wedding planning is going very well. We have amazing wedding planners, which I think is key. Honestly, if people can, um, if they have the resources to have a wedding planner, for me personally, I don't think we would be planning right now, period, if we didn't have planners because we're like so chill that it's almost too chill. But we're like, oh, it'll it'll happen but having these wedding planners kind of light a fire under us and like take us step by step through the process has been really really enjoyable um I've been trying on dresses which has been really nice and learning about what I like and what I don't like and feeling surprised like I had an idea of what I think I would like and then just being open to try on like different styles I I'm I surprised myself I'm like oh, okay maybe I'm leaning towards this so it's been like um a really enjoyable process and um one thing that I really want to keep with me on the wedding day is um I just wanted to be as grounded and and present as possible I've been told that wedding days they go by so fast and it, it's such a whirlwind and I just want to have it as chill as possible so that I can really take in the moments and breathe and feel relaxed and feel present. I, I want it to be a mindful experience so that I can remember it and feel fulfilled by it as opposed to like having it be a hectic day. Definitely, 100%. Um, do you think you have kind of narrowed down like what month or anything or season you're looking for? Yes, it's going to be in September of this year. Right. Yeah.